Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, October 27th. It's the 22nd week after Pentecost, and week two in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 42, and Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15, verses 9 through 20. Now join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoke God. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O oh God. Alleluia. Psalm 42, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. My soul thirsts for you, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before you? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul. For I had gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise with a multitude that kept holy day. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites, from the hill of Mizar. Deep calls to deep, at the noise of your water spouts, all your waves and your billows are gone over me. And yet you command your loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night your song shall be with me, and my prayer to you, the God of my life. I will say, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning? Because of the oppression of the enemy. With a sword in my bones, my enemies mock me, while they say to me, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O oh God. Alleluia. A reading from the wisdom of Jesus ben Sirach, chapter 15, beginning at verse 9. Praise is unseemly on the lips of a sinner, for it has not been sent from the Lord. For in wisdom must praise be uttered, and the Lord will make it prosper. Do not say, It was the Lord's doing that I fell away, for he does not do what he hates. Do not say, It was he who led me astray, for he has no need of the sinful. The Lord hates all abominations. Such things are not loved by those who fear him. It was he who created humankind in the beginning, and he left them in the power of their own free choice. If you choose, you can keep the commandments, and to act faithfully is a matter of your own choice. He has placed before you fire and water. Stretch out your hand for whichever you choose. Before each person are life and death, and whichever one chooses will be given. For great is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and sees everything. His eyes are on those who fear him and he knows every human action. 
He has not commanded anyone to be wicked, and he has not given anyone permission to sin. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We long for you, O God, and thirst for your presence. Shed your loving kindness upon us and be our help all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.